Hello, welcome all. This is a lecture on uh, road roughness. So, the surface of surface roughness of a road is an important parameter for the evaluation of surface conditions of roads, and hence forms an important input into any payment maintenance management systems towards deciding upon the optimal maintenance strategies to be applied within the given budget so an increase in the road roughness will result in higher road user cost and uncomfortable ride inviting criticisms from traveling public so the economic impact of the road roughness is significant even a small improvement in the surface evenness or in the other words the reduced roughness can yield high economic returns as the total operating cost of all vehicles will outweigh the agency cost and the maintenance cost for a given road now these returns are not immediately apparent to a highway agency since most uh, of this benefits accrue to the road users on the other hand the consequences uh, of uh, neglected maintenance are immediately experienced by the users in terms of high operating cost increased uh, travel time and high accident rates so however it needs to be uh, borne in mind that if through assured maintenance road roughness can be contained to a lower levels the road agencies could will also um, benefit through preferred reconstruction investments so road users can identify uh, the different uh, types of roughness such as the various forms of unwanted vehicle vibration so it is reasonable it is reasonable to compute more than one roughness index from a profile if different indices provide independent information about the state of road so definition which is according to the irc guidelines for measuring road roughness and norms so road roughness is a result of either the built in irregularities due to the construction defects or it may also appear in the road surface due to the displacement of different materials placed with the pavement structure due to traffic movement the roughness standards so we have the units of measuring roughness the first one is the roughness index or ri the pavement surface roughness is expressed as unevenness or roughness index okay in mm per kilometer next we have the international roughness index or iri the ratio it is the ratio of the accumulated suspension motion of a vehicle divided by the distance traveled during the test okay in meter per kilometer the correlation between iri and ri is ri equals to 630 iri raised to 1.12 where ri is the roughness index in mm per kilometer and iri is the international roughness index in meter per kilometer next we have the roughness norms okay so all the major roads road works executed control of surface evenness during the construction phase has been stipulated as a mandatory requirement so the standard recommended for surface roughness enables the engineer in charge to exercise control over the quality of the construction now the longitudinal profile shall be checked with the 3 meter straight edge at the middle of each traffic lane along a line parallel to the central line of the road so we have the standard okay which is recommended for the surface evenness now this standard which is recommended for the surface evenness will will enable the engineer who is in charge to have the control over the quality of the construction so he can check the quality of the construction from this standard which is recommended for the surface evenness 
okay down the longitudinal profile you can check it with a 3 meter straight edge at the middle of each traffic lane okay which is along a line which is parallel to the central line of the road this is a table showing maximum permissible values of roughness for expressways national and the state highways so for the type of surface which is bituminous surface for a good condition of the road okay the roughness index is less than uh, 1800 okay and irri is less than 2.55 similarly for a fair condition of a road surface for a bituminous type of a surface okay ri is 1800 to 2400 okay and iri is 2.5 to 3.3 .3, whereas for a poor condition of the road surface the ri is for a bituminous type of a road surface is greater than 2400 and iri is greater than 3.3 .3. Next, for a cemented type of a road surface, okay, for a good condition of the road, uh, for the RI is less than 2000 and IRI is less than 2.81. Then, for a fair condition of the road surface, the RI is 2000 to 2400 and IRI is 2.81 to 3.3. .3. Whereas, for a poor condition of the road surface, for a cemented type of a surface, uh, we have cemented greater the ri is greater than 2400 and iri is greater than 3.3 .3. so these are the values of maximum permissible values of roughness for expressways national and the state highways coming to the next is importance of the payment surface roughness so first of all effect on the road safety now the ride experienced by the occupant of a vehicle has been used as a criteria of payment roughness now a person traveling on a vehicle at a selected speed subjectively evaluates the riding experience now the vibration of the vehicle induced by the road roughness affects the driver performance it is mentioned that the vehicle suspension also plays a role in the effect of roughness on safety okay when roughness occurs at a repeated amplitude and frequency it can have two effects so first one is if the frequency is in phase with the vehicle a road a rough road can seem to be smooth secondly if the roughness is out of phase with the natural uh, frequency roughness can be magnified now the roughness of the pavement causes change in the normal force forces that act at the tire pavement interface and affects the uh, lateral forces mm, needed to control a vehicle. So a rough, a roughness can cause significant loss of braking force or a slip resistance on a vehicle. Now problems can arise due to the variation okay problems can arise due to the variation of roughness okay in each of the uh, wheel tracks of a lane so the difference of roughness in each wheel path cause the difference in braking and the sliding forces um, that act on the vehicle next uh, is the effect on the vehicle operating cost so the vehicle operating cost component consists of the fuel consumption, oil consumption, tire wear, maintenance and repair. So the road roughness is one of the factor which is determining the vehicle operating cost. So roughness affects the amount of fuel consumed in vehicles. So while increasing the roughness increases the fuel consumption at any given speed and it will reduce the travel time next we have the effect on the <coughs> vehicle riding comfort so vehicles ride quality varies with the travel speed the dynamic uh, characteristics of the vehicle and the characteristics of the roughness of the road so the assessment assessment of the ride quality and the 
road roughness by measuring the response of a vehicle <coughs> is dependent on the travelling speed and dynamic characteristics of the vehicle so to obtain a reproducible measurements of ride quality the measuring speed is required to be controlled so roughness is an important parameter for the evaluation of the surface condition of a road okay an increase in the road roughness will result in higher road user cost and invites okay invites several criticisms with regards to uncomfortable ride such roads can offer to the traveling public so road roughness emerges as a key characteristics of the road condition which should be considered in developing maintenance standards okay the next is roughness measurement methods so <coughs> the assessment evaluation of the riding quality of pavement surface can be classified as uh, two types like we have systems that measures or base their measurement on the profile of road are called as a profilometric systems and systems that rely on measuring the movement of a suspension system in response basically to the unevenness of the road surface traveled by a vehicle which is called as a response type road roughness measuring system or the rt rrms so the majority of data on roughness which is collected in india is obtained by using the rt rrms okay next is a classification of road roughness measuring system okay this is from the reference irc guideline for measuring road roughness and norms okay so the instruments used for collecting collection of roughness data are characterized into four classes we have the first class which is class 1 which is the precision profilers now what is precision what is precision profiler so precision profilers they are the instruments okay they are the instruments that provide the highest standard of accuracy for calculating the irri and are a series of accurately measured elevation points which are closely spaced along the section okay they are used to calculate the accuracy of calculating the irri okay now the elevations okay the elevations are measured at the sampling intervals not more than 250 mm with a precision of less than 0.5 mm on a very smooth pavements using this walking speed profilometers okay you can see in this figure this is a walking profilometer this is a figure showing walking profilometers so uh, what what this walking profilometers do the elevations are measured at sampling intervals not more than 250 mm okay with a precision of less than 0.5 mm on a very smooth pavement payments using this walking profile walking speed profilometers next we have the class 2 that is the other profilometer methods so an instrument which is not capable of meeting the class 1 requirements for precision may be may meet the criteria for class 2 okay so the class 2 sampling intervals they are set at a maximum of 500 mm with a precision on smooth roads of below 1 mm for using a walking speed profilometers next we have the class 3 that is a response type measurements so all the response type road roughness measuring systems that is the rt rrms belong to this category of road roughness so rt rrms measures the dynamic response of the vehicles to the road surface by using either the mechanical or the accelerometer devices okay so in this type of uh, response it is response type measurements it it measures the dynamic response of the vehicles to the road surface either by using mechanical or the accelerometer devices next we have the class 4 that is a subjective ratings so in this subjective evaluation of roughness now here the investigator will physically drive along the road or makes he will make a visual survey okay so roughness measurement methods so the rt rrms okay they are readily available okay they are readily available and they are simple to operate operation is simple and they are cheap so this type of a system 
it consists of a transducer or any other instrument capable of summing the movements of the rear axle of a suitable vehicle as it travels along the road now a electronic counter to record the counts in discrete units of measure okay so it consists of two types a transducer okay or any other instrument which is capable of summing the movements of the rear axle of a suitable vehicle and it consists of an electronic counter to record the counts in discrete units of its measure next roughness measuring equipment is a roughometer so a roughometer it is a high speed device which is used for measuring the pavement surface roughness okay now the pavement roughness measurements using this equipment are required to be done at a speed in between 40 to 60 km per hour in order in order to obtain the most reliable and accurate data so a roughometer is, is a it is used for measuring the pavement surface roughness so it is portable in nature and it consists of a small accelerometer device which is installed at a rear axle of a survey vehicle at a distance measuring instrument interface module and a controller so this instrument it measures the pavement roughness and at a speed between 40 to 60 km per hour to obtain the most reliable and accurate data okay this is a instrument showing a roughometer this is a hand controller you can see in the figure here hand controller then this is the interface unit the distance measuring instrument the wheel is the wheel and this is the inertial sensor next roughness measuring equipment is the dipstick auto ride road profiler so it is a precise electronic digital level and profiler so the dipstick profiler it consists of an inclinometer which is enclosed in a case which is supported by two legs okay the two digital displays are provided one at each end of the instrument so each display will read the elevation of the leg at its end relative to the elevation of the other leg okay the operator then walks the dipstick down the premarked pavement section by alternatively pivoting the instrument about each leg so the dipstick profiler can be used to collect a small quantity of pavement profile measurements you can see in the figure here this is a dipstick profiler okay so in this what happens is each display reads the elevation of the leg at its end relative to the elevation of the other leg then there is an operator okay the operator will walk the dipstick down the premarked pavement by pivoting the instrument about each leg you can see here this is the operator will pivot the instrument about each leg next we have the profilographs so a profilograph is having a sensing wheel which is mounted to provide for free vehicle movement at the center of the frame now a profilograph can detect a very slight surface deviation or undulations up to about 6 meter in length now the deviation against a reference plane established from the profilograph frame is recorded on the graph paper from the motion of the sensing wheel so in this profilograph they have a sensing wheel which is mounted for free vertical movement okay you can see in the figure here they have a sensing wheel this is a profilograph this is the profilograph output okay so now the deviation okay against a reference plane is established from the profilograph frame then it is recorded okay on some models on a graph paper okay this is recorded on the graph paper you can see in the figure from the motion of the sensing wheel now this profilographs it can detect very slight surface deviations or undulations up to about 6 meter in length okay so with this i come to the end of this lecture